in this question we are given a line DE is parallel to BC and the ratio of AD to DB is equal to 5 is to 4 and we have to find out the ratio of area of triangle DEF to the area of triangle BCF to find that we have to use this condition before that when we draw a line DE parallel to BC we form two triangles that is triangle ADE and triangle ABC and in triangle ADE and triangle ABC we have angle A is equal to A as it is common in both the triangles as DE is parallel to BC we know that corresponding angles should be equal the corresponding angle DBC must be equal to ADE therefore we write ADE is equal to angle DBC as they are corresponding angles similarly we have another pair of corresponding angles which is BCE and its corresponding angle is DEA so these two angles must be equal and in these two triangles by angle 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 similarity we say that triangle ADE is similar to triangle ABC this is by angle angle similarity this is by angle 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 similarity and we know that when two triangles are similar then the ratio of their corresponding sides should be equal so we consider the ratio which is AD is to AB it is equal to DE is to BC and it is equal to AE is to AC now we got the condition which is AD is to AB is equal to DE is to BC and it is equal to AE is to AC since the ratio of corresponding parts of similar triangles must be equal and we have also given the ratio of AD is to DB is equal to 5 is to 4 so now we have AD is to AB so to get AB in the denominator we have to interchange this it is because the sum of AD and DB is equal to AB now we interchange numerator and denominator then we get db is to ad it is equal to 4 is to 5 now we add 1 on both sides then we get db divided by ad plus 1 is equal to 4 upon 5 plus 1 and on left hand side we get lcm ad and on numerator we have db plus ad and on right hand side lcm is 5 and on numerator we have 4 plus 5 on numerator we have db plus ad it is equal to ab thus we get ab and in denominator we have ad and on rhs 4 plus 5 is 9 divided by 5 again we interchange this because we have ad is to ab so we get AD divided by AB and on RHS we also change numerator and denominator we get 5 is to 9 therefore we can say that the ratio of AD to AB DE to BC AE to AC is equal and it is equal to 5 is to 9 remember that we have to find the ratio of triangle DEF to triangle BCF in these two triangles DE 
and BC are bases. We have get the ratio of bases which is DE to BC which is 5 is to 9. Now our next work is to find the ratio of their corresponding heights. And in this figure DE is parallel to BC and here we have one of the transversal which is BE and we know that corresponding angles of a transversal are equal and here we consider corresponding angles which is EBC to this angle EBC its corresponding angle is angle DEB so these two must be equal as BE is transversal we get angle EBC is equal to angle DEF and at point F we get a pair of vertically opposite angles that is angle BFC and angle DFE form a pair of vertical opposite angles and we know that vertical opposite angles must be equal so we get angle BFC is equal to DFE now we draw triangles DEF and BCF and here we have triangle DEF and here we have BCF if you look at this from the above we get angle BFC is equal to angle DFE which is this angle is equal to angle BFC and now we have EBC FBC is equal to DEF so these two must be equal so by angle angle C we can say that triangle DEF is similar to triangle here D corresponds to C and E corresponds to B and F corresponds to F so these two triangles are similar and we know that in similar triangles ratio of corresponding sides must be equal which is FD is to FC is equal to DE is to BC and it is equal to FE is to FB and now we have to find the heights of this triangle in order to get their area so we draw a perpendicular from F to base DE and in this triangle we draw a perpendicular to base BC let it intersect at L and this altitude intersect at M and we know that perpendicular makes an angle of 90 degrees with its base and on both sides we get 90 degrees and 90 degrees so if we look at these triangles which is FLE and FMB in these triangles 90 degrees 90 degrees is equal which is angle L is equal to angle M and again we have angle LEF is equal to angle MBF so here we get these two triangles are similar by criterion which is LEF is similar to triangle MBF and from this we know that the ratio of their corresponding sides should be equal so the ratio of FL to FM is equal to LE to MB it is equal to FE to FB now we get three conditions now we have to find ratio of area of triangle DEF to the area of triangle BCF and it is equal to half half 
base into height and here in triangle DEF which is DEF DE is the base then its corresponding height is FL and in triangle BFC that is BFC here we have triangle BFC its area is half of base which is BC and its corresponding height is FM and half on numerator and denominator get cancelled and we remain with DE to BC times FL by FM if you look at this we have already got this value which is FL to FM here we have FL to FM is equal to FE to FB and again FE to FB which is this and it is equal to DE to BC so we write FL by FM in terms of DE to BC now the ratio of area of triangle DEF to the area of triangle BCF is equal to DE square divided by BC square which is equal to DE divided by BC whole square from this we conclude that when two triangles are similar then the ratio of their respective areas is equal to the ratio of square of their corresponding sides and we have got the value of DE is to BC DE is to BC is 5 is to 9 so here we get 5 divided by 9 whole square which is equal to 25 upon 49 and this completes our solution